Hello everyone, this is Scott, and welcome back to Crossout. And today I'll be doing a review on the Sword Force Tango 1 and Tango 1 uh, Deluxe Edition packs, coming in at 30 and 65 euros respectively. And for that, um, of course, they are added to the promotional account. And I will be looking at the overall value effectiveness from both of them, kind of like a new buyer and a value buyer's perspective. So the WLP comes with a quantum cabin, which is a decent, although not amazing cabin. Would be pretty good for new players. Uh, for the record, I'm looking at live, so if I miss anything, that's kind of beyond me. Uh, you have two tacklers, which are decent machine guns, but not really too amazing, and especially in the this configuration has been put into the vehicle, which I'll be talking about in a bit. They're not the most effective weapons all around. Then we have the King Mine Layer, of course, a new weapon. Uh, then it should have some decent value, so let's just check it out how much value it is right now. And it comes in at 3,000 coins, we'll probably be going down towards more 2,000 coins, because as far as I know, it is not a very amazing weapon. Now you get the hot red engine, which is always a good engine because it is uh, zero energy, which allows you to put it on any vehicle you want. Increase the power by 20%, mass limit 1000 kilograms, and max speed by 13%. It's very much um, advised to keep this one. If if you're like gonna sell most of this for value, just keep the hot red because it's just a good engine. Now we've got a bunch of stickers. Won't be really talking about those because they're also always subjective. And we have six twin wheel steering. This is one trend that I noticed with the newer packs that they get more steering wheels. While the other packs would probably have front steering and a non steering, non steering. The best here would be it would have been if these were steering, these were steering, and these were non steering. But six steering wheels is good enough. Uh, and in this case, you can see that because the rear two wheels are just slightly behind the center of mass, they steer uh, alongside the rear wheels instead of front wheels, which does help the uh, maneuverability. But if you lose your two front wheels, it's going to be very hard to steer this. So again, for this build, just keep that in mind. Um, and for and the rest, we all have a bunch of APC parts. I'm pretty sure that these are new. Yeah, WLP parts. WLP part, WLP part. Yes, those are new, the new parts. So six of the uh, Bartison fenders, which are pretty large fenders, but looks fit. And a left rampart and a right rampart. So look at those. Those are these parts right here. Uh, these are the ramparts. And then we got one Bartison right here and two more right here. And the Bartisans look to be very good parts. Like the health is pretty good. Let's compare them to the large fenders real quick, if I can. Find myself one. Uh, there it is. So, um, 224 kilograms to 263. Not too much difference. Um, the power score of large fender is a bit higher, and the durability is a bit higher as well. Overall, I'd say these are pretty comparable. With the added bonus, that these ones are a bit more compact and have more welding points. So, pretty much where you would uh, fit large fenders in a build, but you don't want them to be as heavy, you would probably want to replace them with the Partisans. Uh, I do like these fenders, but more for art builds, like your those in the rear and then the barriers in the front, basically. Like, um, or like this on the car. If this was your car body, then like these would be the rear fenders, and these would be the front fenders. I do think I do like that thought. Uh, but then you kind of need both the scout vehicle and the WLP. Don't know if that's going to be worth it. And uh, I don't know, we do of course get the dark green paint. And let's compare that to, um, well, without the paint. Okay, this is a slightly darker green, simply said. But because everything is already, um, like, uh, steppable sparts. It's really not a too interesting paint to have, and I wouldn't advise buying it off the market, to be honest. Now we do, of course, have a few decor items. Uh, let's just 
double check here which one has only yeah it only has two headlines actually so that's kind of like below average like uh let's just double check the uh uh scout vehicle uh pretty sure this one had more yeah this one had four and then two legendary twin exhausts so this one would be much better if you just want to like get something to start leveling up with because it gets you a whole bunch of decoration items although decoration items are not too expensive now now i, now I think of it so yeah there's that and then let's compare that to, to the wlp of the deluxe edition the deluxe edition gets the uh decorative grill set and i think did they add a new one yes it seems they did the six long variant here uh, it always had the twin lamp headlights in the front there. Those are new. And they added the ceramic armor paint in addition to the other paint. And you also got the midnight paint, which has been around for a long time and is really not really more worth anything. On there, there's no new decorative items or anything on here. Nothing too interesting, to be honest. Um... The WLP uh, Deluxe Edition, of course, does get the uh, other garage, the uh, Assault Force garage, which actually I am running right now. For the ones that haven't seen it already, well, my build is kind of screwed up, but uh, it's this shooting range right here immediately. You have some random drive hard to the left, but it does the raging track supposedly on the left here, although it's not a very amazing track to test you out. You do have a f bunch of props. Where you can test various things with. Um, but that's uh, due to how the physics work in this game. Like driving on hills like this is really easy and etc. So you don't really have to test that at all. You really have to focus on the combat capabilities of your vehicle. So there's that. Overall, um, this pack definitely does not seem too interesting. The tacklers are not new, uh, you're not getting any like customization kits or whatever. The only thing that's new on it is the King Mine Layer. And yeah, unless that weapon becomes really desirable, I don't see this pack to be that desirable. But that said, for a new player, the WLP is actually not that bad because of the various armor sets that it comes with. And uh, like that's of course for the experienced players if you do want to get these parts they will be available in the factions I'm pretty sure it'll be in here uh, right rampart left rampart yep, there we go and I assume the uh, the uh, fender is going to be somewhere in here unless they added it to the actual tree but I doubt it no can't see the fender in here though I assume you'll be able to get it, that, that, that it's just like too large and it doesn't scroll down far enough. Maybe that's it. But overall, you're going to have to level this uh, faction a whole bunch of times. Because like, I would have like I have one mastery rank in this one. I don't really play too much uh, anymore. But you would have to get mastery 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 18. Because of course you have the 6 uh, fenders. To get all of these special armor parts. And you get a random one each time. So you're not guaranteed to get a matching pair or anything. Which is kind of a bummer to be honest. And uh, yeah. Overall. The vehicle is not great. I will probably make a video on. What I would do if you actually bought this pack. And how I would reconfigure it. I will probably buy a few uh, different parts. Based on the coins you get. Because um. You do get one and a half thousand coins with the WAP and four thousand coins with the uh, deluxe edition, and that's actually where most of the value comes from. Like uh, two and a half thousand, uh, you get three and a half thousand coins back for fifty euros, and sixteen hundred fifty coins for twenty five. So let's say you're kind of in between there. Like f uh, two thousand coins will be around thirty euros, and. That's kind of where most of this value comes from, basically, the, the extra price. Um, keep that in mind. Like, you're basically buying one of these coin packs in addition to this pack when you're buying this one. And then you kind of get the rest, the, the, the paint and the, the few decor items, etc. thrown in there for almost free. 
That's the biggest difference between these packs. I kind of wish the deluxe editions weren't that expensive. To be honest, like I would be fine with this pay only being like two and a half thousand coins and, and cutting ten euros of the price. That would help because sixty-five euros still is the price of a triple A game and then some. Probably like you could, you could probably buy like various just triple A games with their season pass. Like there will be various triple A games that you can like afford with this. Not not multiple at once, but just like. There will be a few AAA games that are not yet risen to the 60 euro standard kind of now. And then you would be able to buy their season pass for the 15 euros that's, that you have left in that case. It does seem uh, kind of like a better deal to be honest. Overall, um, I would evade this pack actually. Um, the uh, There, there are ba some better packs to to get. To be honest, if especially if you're already a long-standing player, these are not interesting. But you'll probably have the bunch of step parts already. And at, if you're at like you're kind of like at medium level, you want to get the step parts. Uh, but at higher levels, you want to go back to lunatic parts because you're kind of run into the weight limits because you have so much uh, part limit, and you want to cut down the weight. So you want to go back to again the um, lunatic parts. And yeah, overall, just don't go for this pack. To be honest, it's, it's not gonna be worth it. Better just play the market than try to get your king that way. I guess, especially now, like the king is still new. You you really don't wanna pay like, for example, the flute. It's also an epic weapon. Of course, you got three per pack. So those, but those are really much cheaper. I I've, I'm pretty sure that the uh, this one is gonna the king is gonna go below fifteen hundred maybe even under a thousand coins, not much under a thousand but it's possible that it's gonna be around there, and then it's gonna be much more affordable than if you were to buy it right now. Overall, just just wait with getting it, see if you uh, if it's any interesting, and yeah. That's that. That's all I got for today, guys. Uh, I'm not really gonna comment on the new changes, the, the all of this. I, I'm, I'm honestly, I've been too busy to really keep track of all of this, so I don't want to like say things that aren't true. So yeah, that's that. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys on the next one. See ya.